I need to find the doctor. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Come, friend. When did you let? So long for now, then return if you feel like you're dying. Hmm? It's some. Have you taken a blow to the head? <laughs> Someone my age. In the Chile. Back. out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait.
was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that Corco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Requiescat in pace. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? to purchase missing equipment. He will not live long in Roma without supplies. I have my blade. 
And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help you. Grazie. While you're in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. I also men keep your necessity. Ciao, signore. Hope to see you again. Ben, now you can survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps. But I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteriggioni. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly? That they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murders. Even his daughter Lucrezia has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing to him. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join his ranks. The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet. The King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare. Head of the Papal Armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italia, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. 
You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. What no. no. no reason? Ah, you are the signore here, of yes. course. How stupid. Scusate. This table is now available for purchase. After you. Excel at opening wounds, Ezio. But can you also close them? I intend to heal the sickness, not treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borgia's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. Look at this city, the center of Borgia and Templar rule. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the set. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campidoglio. I am meeting a contact there. Give me back my money! Come back here! I am You are making a big mistake! Get out of here before I regret sparing your life. Hey! Hey! Ah. 
Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time, with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. become so cynical. I merely describe the reality of Roma today. But all may not be lost. The good news is that we have allies in the city. How much longer this will last, however, I cannot say. But last time, scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. He was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Perdonati, mi signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Where is it? The courier still has the letter. Ezio, stop him! Find me at the Termed! your sins. Get it.
Come from in here.
I can get back up here.
That could help if I fall. Perfect. I route up if I fall. The followers of Romulus. This band of false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guards, but many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance.
Ben trovato, Nicolò. Ah, Ser Ezio. A pleasure. Fabio Orsini, at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us an unused storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon I hope we will be free. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? Si. Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. <laughs> 